Dun, 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 dun. Woo! Look at my dog! <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy James. You bitch, go up. So, in this video, I want to talk about one of the strongest holding beer bombs I found yet. And that is the luxurious bastard. I hope you guys can read that. Now, this is just the uh, flavor I got, but luxurious bastard. I got the tabactionist. It's a two ounce beer bomb. Of course, it came with, I'm pretty sure it's a sticker. Always love the stickers. Gotta have a sticker. I like that. Business card. And came with like the original old school bubble gum. I love that, man. This has been a long time since I've seen this bubble gum. It kind of took me back to being a kid, man. And so it was really, you know, it's the smallest thing, but it was really cool to get that in, you know, in the package. So I think that is really cool. And I believe the owner's name is Dave. Dave, thanks for little things like this, man. I mean, to make, it goes a long ways, man. This is almost more important to me than the bomb. Maybe feel like a kid again. Now, on the beer bomb. <coughs> Excuse me. Something on here that I got to point out. Um, and that's basically not any ingredients or anything like that, but just the fact that it says on here something. I like when, I like when these when uh, owners put something like their personal touch on there because it means a lot to me. It means that they put their stuff out there. And, uh, and just, just this little saying right here, where it says, all of our beer bombs are hand-mixed in very small batches, poured and packaged by me. A bearded man for a bearded man, not a bunch of bald-faced marketing babies. Now, that right there, man, I love that because, man, he put his own touch right there and put his stuff out there. And I love the fact that somebody ain't, ain't scared to say the smallest, the simplest thing on there, you know. In other words, you know, basically says, fuck you, you baby face bitch. <laughs> but that's not what it says. But uh, in my mind, I like that he put that on there. So, because to me, that's what it means. And I like that. So, this tabactionist, guys, is one of the, uh, this is a, uh, I believe this is vanilla and tobacco. Anyways, I'm not going to go through all these. I'm pretty sure it's vanilla and tobacco. Yeah, and when you smell it, that's exactly what you get. I get a little bit, I get a little hint of vanilla and a lot of tobacco. And the tobacco smells like a, it smells like, a, it doesn't smell like a burning cigarette. It smells like a tobacco leaf or, you know, you know, just like a you use a break of tobacco, uh, cigarette op open, excuse me, you know, heartburn. You break a cigarette open, basically get the smell out of the inside of the cigarette and a hint of vanilla. Now, I'm not really a big tobacco fan, but man, I'm telling you that these tobacco smells, uh, this one and Detroit Grim and the, the, the tobacco I'm getting out of these are so good, man. They just, they smell just real nice in your beer, man. And it's, and it's not something I would ever expect. So there, you know, they, there again, it goes, you know, not always the smell you're thinking is going to be um, the smell that you really like, you know, because there's smells that I really like. And and when I get them in, in, in this can package or container from somebody else, I may not like that smell as much as I like the smell that I didn't think I like that much, this tobacco. This tobacco. So this is a really badass smelling beer, oil, or beer bomb right here. I didn't, get the, I didn't get the oil, and I'm not sure if he has oil. I'm sure he probably has an oil to match it. I just got the bomb. And the reason I got the bomb is because I was told that this bomb has a really strong hold. Now, the first time I used this beer bomb, <clears throat> I could smell it in my beard. It seemed like, I mean, the day I used it, um, it, that whole day, and then even through that night and into the next 
the next day I could still smell it. Not as much as the first day, but that next day I could still smell that beard bomb in my in my beard. So with that being said, that right there just gives it, I mean, just that alone is a two thumbs up for me. Not to mention the fact that this is the only beard bomb that I've got that will hold my beard in this position pretty much all day. So now when I got up this morning, I put, the, I put this in. And being that I put this in, and you know, I don't know where you guys are at, I'm over in Texas, and it's been raining and it's, it's real humid and hot at the same time. And you know, everybody's beard is a little different. If you got a nice straight beard, your beard might not do it, but my beard is super coarse, curly, and wiry. So if it if any amount of water or just moisture or humidity hits my beard with any kind of other beard balm in it, dude, it automatically afros out like to here and shrinks up like this and it looks completely like shit and has so many curls in it. And man, it it does not look good at all. It's not pretty. And I'll make a video later of what my beard looks like exactly after I wash it. Because after I wash it, that's when it looks the worst. Or even whenever, like I said, when it gets wet or humid outside, that's, that's when it looks the worst. But with this beard balm in, my beard still looks like this after all day of this wet, humid weather I have, which usually destroys the look of my beard. So with that being said, this beard balm is the shit in my book. Now second of all, this is the hardest beard balm now, it's hard to get out of here, guys. You know, some people use a guitar pick. You're not going to just rub it like that and get it out. You might get your finger a little greasy, but you're not rubbing that and getting it out. I'm just, you're not, it's not going to happen. So you literally have to take a, a spoon, your fingernail, a guitar pick, whatever you can get, a knife and dig that out of there because it's that strong. And when you put it in your hand, it's, um, it feels almost like a, like a candle wax. Dude. It's, it's not as hard as a candle, but it, it's super Super strong, but look, let me take some out. So this is me giving it full force just to get that little bit right there. And that's about all you need, man. Usually I put a lot of a lot of the other beer bombs, I use a lot of it in there. But I'll take that little bit right there and put that in my hand. And it you have to, it doesn't emulsify really easy. You have to rub it pretty good, but it does disappear. But look, it's still stuck right there. So you got to rub it a pretty good bit. And it'll almost stick your hands together. So, but you know, so I still, it's still got clumps in there. Not a bad thing in my book. I don't mind rubbing my hands together a little bit more to get it to emulsify. So, still a few little pieces right there. I'll get that. And then what you're left with is not a real greasy, it's not real greasy, but dude, it's like, it's there. And when you put it in, Dude, I could pretty much, I could pretty much hold my beard sideways with this stuff. And this is what I'll use instead of mustache wax. Look at that. Come on, man. And that's not that much beard balm in there. That's not that much. Look at that, dude. That's how strong that beard balm is. So that's not the way I'm going to wear my beard, but. That's how strong that is, man. It holds everything. It holds my beard like that all day long. So whatever style you want to go with, a thin style, whatever, thin it out some or a little wider. That's all you need is your hands. You, almost don't, you don't even need a brush to brush it out. It's going to hold that thing just like that. So super hard. You can see I use this quite a bit and there's not that much missing out of it. Super hard to get out of here, but also styles like nobody else's business. So if you're wanting your beard to be nice and straight or to keep the same shape throughout the majority of the day, even in my sleep, you know, I roll around a lot, my beard still looks pretty good when I wake up in the morning. I don't have to do a whole lot of work the next morning to get my beard to look right back like this if I'm wearing luxurious bastard product. So with that being said, guys, if you're looking for a strong beard bomb, a strong hold, this is by far the number one strongest hold I've ever bought. And for that reason, I will always buy this product because I have a nappy beard. Whenever it's not fixed like this, you guys see it all fixed. But when it's not fixed, it's super all over the place. 
and to make it stay like that all day long, I really need this. I can use other beer bombs, but if it gets wet or humid outside, my beer's gonna make it's gonna go everywhere and it's gonna look like crap. So if I want it to stay like this all day, this is what I have to use. The luxurious bastard. So that being said, Dave, David, whatever you go by, I'm pretty sure it's Dave. Man, dude, two thumbs up on your product. Super awesome. I always buy from you. I haven't tried another since yet because obviously I still got a bunch of this, but I will buy another one soon just to try another smell, scent, whatever. With that being said, peace, you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.